All right, uh, let's look at this uh, popular optimization problem called the uh, open box problem. All right, so here's what's going on. Uh, let's say we have a 12 by 12 uh, square piece of cardboard, and we're going to take off an identical uh, square piece off each corner. And uh, we fold up those uh, sidewalls to create an open box. And we want to find the volume of the largest possible box and also its dimensions. All right, so uh, let's do that. All right, first, uh, we have to express some measurements. All right, so if you look at this uh, square here, that's going to correspond to the bottom of the box. So I want to find its dimensions. So its dimension is going to be, so you're going to start with the 12 uh, units. And then you take away x's on both sides. So 12 minus 2x will be the length of this side here. And since it's square, so this is exactly the same. All right? So uh, we know that the here, uh, if you turn it into a box, right, x is going to correspond to the height. Right? So these two sides is going to be correspond to the size of the base. So we're going to have these measurements here. Right, so we know that the height is going to be x. Right here, all we did was uh, uh, we pulled the 2 out of, out of uh, 12 minus 2x. You get 2 times quantity 6 minus x. And this side is exactly the same. Right, so in order to find the volume function of this open box, all you have to do is multiply all three dimensions together. So we want to maximize this um, a volume function, right? So it's a 2 times 2 gives you 4. Uh, x is there. And a 6 minus x times 6 minus x gives you a 6 minus x squared, right? Then x value is restricted between, right? So if, uh, we can't have a negative value since x is a length. But uh, since uh, the total length here is 12, so you can only go halfway because we have to cut the squares from each side. So x can go from 0 to 6, right? So let's try to maximize this continuous function over a, a closed interval by closed interval method, right? So we need to take the derivative so that we can find critical numbers. So v prime of x goes like this, right? So 4 is a constant multiple, so we put it here. Then we're going to apply product rule uh, to x times 6 minus x squared, right? Derivative of x is 1 times a quantity 6 minus x squared. So I write it as a 6 minus x times 6 minus x. Plus, uh, first guy is x times the derivative of this. Uh, put 2 in front, 6 minus x. Then multiply by, uh, subtract 1 from the power. So it's 1. I didn't write it. And then a uh, derivative of 6 minus x is negative 1. So this is the derivative. Right? So let's simplify. So 4 is there. So we put 4. And a 6 minus x, 6 minus x is a common factor. So we pull it out. Right? So what's left would be you have 6 minus x minus 2x. So that's going to be 6 minus 3x. So that's why you have 6 minus 3x. Right, but the 6 and 3x has 3 in it, so I'm going to pull out the 3. So 4 and 3 makes 12. And if you pull out 3 from 6, you get 2. If you pull out the 3 from negative 3x, you get the negative x. So, and then you have 6 minus x. Right, so this is the derivative. And if you set it equal to 0, we can find the critical numbers x equals 2 and uh, x equals 6. So we have a couple of critical numbers, uh, 2 and 6. All right, so using the closed interval method, uh, there are only, in this case, uh, three possible places uh, where you can have the maximum volume. Right, left endpoint, or critical number 2, and right endpoint, which happens to be another critical number 6. So we're going to evaluate the original volume function at 0, 2, and 6. All right, so uh, let's you do that. So what you get is going to be, it's actually quite simple, especially two of them. All right, if x is 0, uh, 0 times anything is 0, so the volume is going to be 0. And if x is 6, and you can see that, uh, you know, you basically take away everything. So 6 minus 6 is going to be 0, so the volume is going to be 0. 
then only thing that gives you a positive value is that the critical number 2. So if you plug in 2 for x is 4 times 2, 6 minus 2 squared is going to be 8 times 16, which gives you 128. So obviously, this is the only positive value. This is going to be the maximum volume. So maximum value of this open box is 128, and its dimension is going to be uh, since uh, this happens when x equals 2, and then uh, this dimension is a 2 times 6 minus 2, so it's a 2 times 4, so it's 8. So it's a 2 by 8 by 8 is the dimension of the uh, largest possible open box uh, through this con construction. Right? Uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.